find a new stock to talk about, bro. PayPal is way overhyped. Everyone is tired of hearing about PayPal. This is a comment to a YouTube video I did from Highball187. Okay, so let's set the context. I'm a PayPal bull. I think PayPal stock will be significantly higher in 5 to 10 years compared to where it is at today. But the negative sentiment around PayPal stock is the worst I have ever seen. Aside from Tesla, but that'll be for another video. Okay, so I'm going to go over a few of these responses, give them their fair shake, then I'll give you my rebuttal. Oh, by the way, I'm Brian, the Finance Ninja. Okay, so I'm starting with the easiest rebuttal I've ever seen. Before I start my rebuttal, sham houses to like and subscribe. Okay, so if PayPal was way overhyped, we would be at $300 today, not $59. If anything, PayPal is just the opposite. Public opinion on PayPal stock is so negative that we, well, we get replies like that. PayPal sucks. Wall Street hates PayPal, and on and on. None of it is based on fundamentals, which I'll get to in a second. PayPal is priced for zero growth. I mean, look, 4 PE of 11.53, trailing PE of 15.37, peg 0 0.49. Now this is not overhyped. This is underhyped. This is negative Wall Street sentiment to the extreme. Next, from Texas Golfer. He says, you too will come to regret it and beat your head against the wall like all the other shareholders. The forward PE is irrelevant. It's low because PayPal can't even meet the industry profit levels. Okay, so first, Warren Buffett addresses it directly. In the short run, the market is a voting machine. In the long run, it's a weighing machine. Fundamentals are only not important in the short term, but are essential long term. I am a long term investor. When I buy, I plan to hold for many, many years. For example, I've been holding my Tesla shares since 2016. Now, if you don't like that one, how about this? The stock market is a wonderfully efficient mechanism for transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. So the idea is, stay calm. If the market is acting dumb, just wait patiently for it to correct. Making a short-term panic move out of fear because of the market conditions, not company conditions, is almost always a bad idea. Let's move on to the financials. Now, income is strong and getting stronger. Record revenues in the last quarter. Now, the most important metric for a payment provider is total payment volume. Now, total payment volume is up 15% year over year. It's a great and growing number. PayPal is growing again. Operating margin is up 468 basis points. Okay, and gap. Net income is up 13%. Earnings per share is up 19%. Free cash flow is up 72%. Now PayPal's profit levels, you know, they seem good to me. How about you? While short-term market sentiment may be negative, it's important to consider, consider the broader investment landscape. Market sentiment can be influenced by various factors, including short-term news and market trends, but it doesn't necessarily reflect the long-term value and potential of a company. If anything, a distortion between the company's fundamentals and its stock price can create buying opportunities for long-term-minded investors. This is why I have been loading the boat. Back to Texas Golfer. They will not reach the industry profit levels with 30,000 employees and the CEO is too afraid to cut deep and do it fast. 
I guess Texas Gulfport doesn't read the news. PayPal had a 9% layoff just this last January and another 7% last winter. Alex said, and this is the CEO, we are doing this to right size our business allowing us to move with the speed needed to deliver for our customers and drive profitable growth. At the same time, we will continue to invest in areas of the business we believe will create and accelerate growth. Back to Texas. Now, the CEO is a terrible speaker. The CFO is a terrible speaker. You know who else is a terrible speaker? Yours truly. I mean, I suck, but you're still here, right? Okay, back to Texas. They could say they have solved world hunger and the stock would drop 15% before you poured your coffee. PayPal is priced for zero growth because the CEO told the analysts that is what to expect. Okay, so Alex, again, the CEO, He gives conservative estimates. That's how PayPal can grow earnings per share at 19%, even though expectations were mute. Zip. Regardless, growth is expected to accelerate in 2025 as PayPal's new innovations come into play. Those are, one, a a new checkout experience that will speed up the checkout process by as much as 50%. Fastlane, Smart receipts, which is AI-driven recommendations on the receipts themselves. Number four is advanced pa- an advanced offers platform. Number five is cash pass, which is a service that will give customers access to hundreds of exciting personalized cashback offers from top brands. And number six is PayPal's enhancing Venmo's business profiles to help small businesses be discovered and grow. Oh. Recording, they could not say they have solved world hunger and the stock would drop 15% before you poured your coffee. That's all the better to buy PayPal ads. Um, give me low prices and I will buy them. Back to Texas. Now, Texas, Texas golfer did a follow-up. Oh, the black and out parts were because he thought I was silencing him? I did not silence him. That's not my style. I magnify voices. I mean, I gave his opinion its own YouTube video. You're watching it. <laughs> he continues, I am not a troll without shares. I have shares and I do not like the man- management moves. Okay, so here's my take and here's what I would do if I were in his position. If I had no faith whatsoever in the company I'm invested in, I would sell immediately. I mean, why hold shares in a company you think is junk? I don't think PayPal is junk. I think they are undervalued, undervalued significantly. Continuing, yes, Q4 was a beat and shares dropped 15%, which is my very point. Okay, I already addressed that. Back to Texas. Yes, base financials grew. Fantastic! Margins are meager at best. Wrong. CEO will not fix, will not lay off to fix margins. Wrong again. User accounts are in decline. Okay, so user accounts are down because PayPal is calling inactive accounts. Again, look at total payment volume, up 15%. CEO is 30,000 people and can't find a win. I don't know about you, but I would say EPS up 19% surely is a win. Wall Street hates PayPal. Yes, they do. DCF models are not something that Wall Street abides by. If they did, the shares would be, would not be in the dumpster fire they are today. Okay, so DCF valuation models are used extensively to value stocks. DCFs take the future value, the future cash flows of a company and discount them back to today's dollars by a discount rate to value a company. Love it or hate it, it is one of the most used tools in valuing a company. Speaking of decent valuation models, I have mine for PayPal up on my Patreon. Is PayPal worth $40? 
Hearst PayPal worth three hundred dollars. You can view it today using my seven day free trial. You'll get access to all of my investment reports and valuation spreadsheets. I've got Tesla. I've got PayPal. I've got Nvidia. I've got AMD. I've got Microsoft and many others. You'll also get exclusive access to my Patreon portfolio. Every transaction I make will be posted on Patreon as it happens. You can follow every move I make in this account. Watch in real time as I grow this into a multi-million dollar portfolio. You'll never find a better deal. Guess what? There is a 7 day free trial. Don't like my content? Then you have 7 days for free anyway. There is no reason not to join the club. The link is in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.